guys you're welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if it is your first time please don't make it your last by subscribing to my channel turning on your bell so you can get notified whenever i post a video so today guys i always be sharing my experience or today i'll be sharing my experience with you all as um, a married couple some of you know like my ogs my subscribers already know that i'm a couple currently serving in lagos and i'm a married couple as you can see i'm putting on my uniform <laughs> this is my crested vest that was given to me at camp so I'll be, sh I'll be sharing with you all my experiences and how i successfully registered and how i was posted to my husband's state of residence nyse is an acronym for national youth service corp it is a program that was set by the by the nigerian government in the military regime to involve nigerian graduates in the development of the country i hear people say nyc is not compulsory nyc is not the most nyc to me if you ask me nyc is not compulsory but it is necessary because there are some jobs especially governmental jobs you ap you apply for that requires nyc certificates like i could remember when i finished my school um when immediately our results came out i applied for a job my cousin helped me um apply for a job and i was asked for my certificate i'm like ah so i can't rush <laughs> so it's like a step like after your school it is very necessary for you to go for nyc then you look, start looking for a job but if you know after school you want to be self-employed i don't think it's necessary for you because you want to be self-employed you want to work on your own your own boss now so nobody can tell you bring this one bring that one bring this that one. program is not just restricted to those that school in nigeria as long as you're in nigeria and even if you go out to school us of a um uk england abroad you can still come back to your country to serve please come back to your country to serve as a married couple there are some documents that are required for you for your registration because without those documents without these documents nyc won't post you to your husband's state of residence they might even post it if you are maybe you are based in the east you can be posted to the north to the south and all of that but if you have all these documents believe me you'll be posted to your husband's state of residence and number one document that is required for a successful registration is your court marriage certificate that is your wedding certificate it is very very important and um your husband's valid id card because this valid ID card shows that shows the state your husband resides and also his um his address. You also need a domicile letter. This domicile letter can be gotten from the local government, the nearest local government. You also need um a utility bill, it could be your NEPA bill, that's from your husband. And what else? You need yeah, your newspaper publication. Publication shows that you've successfully changed your name to your husband's name. So NYC will change your name for you. I used to bear one crazy, but after my marriage, I changed my name to my husband's name. So I did this um, newspaper publication in my local government. So these are the documents that are very, very required, that are very necessary for a successful registration. So NYC, so that NYC can post you in your husband's state of residence. So after I successfully registered at the cafe, we waited for call up letter i waited for my call up letter and when it came out i was so happy when i saw lagos although i wasn't that surprised because i know that of course i'll be posted to lagos but when i saw that i was so happy that thank god it was because imagine if it was declined if it wasn't accepted what would i have done that's when you now start hearing people saying they paid money so they can be posted to this place i paid nothing i paid nothing like i paid nothing <laughs> so when i saw my um call up letter i was so happy lagos yeah, I started preparing for camp. As a marriage couple in Lagos State, I don't know for other states, married women are not allowed to camp in Lagos State. So I didn't bother getting all these things like white shorts, white cans, and all of that because I know that I won't be camping. So when the call up letter came out, I saw the dates I was asked to um, report to camp, which I did. So and before I did that, I was contemplating should I go with my baby because I wasn't sure as at that time. But although I already heard that married women are not allowed to camp in Lagos. So I was like, should I carry my baby? At least that would be a that that can give them reasons not to allow me stay in camp because really I didn't want to even stay in camp. I did I really didn't want to even camp. So um, I went there with my documents instead because I know that taking my baby to camp would be like a stress for her. So I just took all my documents. At least in case if they ask, are you married? I, I have my documents to that yes, I'm married and I'm nothing. I took my baby's birth certificate along with me because. I don't want story like i didn't want stories so um after i reported to camp went to camp i entered i was searched the uh, militants searched me then i proceeded for covid tests 
at first we were asked to write our name after the searching we, uh, we wrote our names and proceeded to the um for covid test so the lady that was attending there were lots of people attending to us for like our fellow coppers our fellow cop members so she saw my ring and she asked are you married i said yes she said will you be camping i said no so she immediately attended to me and other married women that came with their babies we were quickly attended to because they knew we won't be camping they knew we won't be staying in camp so after registering um after the covid test we there were just lots of steps like from there you go to the next place for registration like it was like a whole it was a stress but ah good so after everything we went to open a bank a bank account um and this bank account is depending on your platoon i was in platoon two and my platoon was under assets bank so i opened um an account with them assets bank account so oh, after that we um, went to our platoon um leader she gave us our ways which were um this nyc crested vest you guys are seeing here and um a pair of trousers nyc trousers um a um jungle boots i'll leave the pictures on the screen for you and um a white can that was crested nyc three pairs of white shorts and three pairs of white tees like white t-shirts so um after that i asked that okay yeah we filled the form we filled the form i can't remember but yes we filled the form for id card and she said we'll be collecting our id card on the last day of camp so we are we have to come back on the last day of camp and i asked her oh, are we, am i going to come back maybe for any reason apart from the last day of camp and she said no so i was just at home although i was added to a group chat so um and i was following i was following up or even if i wasn't participating in the activities well i know what was happening in camp so the biggest the mistake i made like and i won't want others to make that mistake on the day of your swearing in please go because that's the day you are going to write your name on the book of life there's a book a very big book called book of life but i did not go because i wasn't told so it was when I now got to camp, I was not hearing book of life. Book of, I was like, I asked my platoon that she didn't tell me. So, but I met her. I said, Ma, you didn't tell me about the book of life. You didn't tell me I was supposed to come to school for my swearing in. Although my friend told me, but I was like, since my platoon that didn't tell me, then it's not necessary. So I told her, she was like, okay, it's fine. That I can still write my name. I can go to Suvileri to for it. Like, and I was like, okay. So um, after the collection, like on the last day of camp, after collecting my id card sorry i forgot to say before i left camp on the day i reported we we're given a certain amount three thousand six hundred or three thousand i can't remember but i'm going to leave it on the screen if i remember for bicycle allowance it's called bicycle allowance so that is the money the government expects you <laughs> to go home with like your tea for going back those that were on exits even after camping like even if you camped on the last day of camp yours will be given to you but since we didn't camp we we're giving the we we're giving that amount and people that were on exit were um, um pregnant mothers nursing mothers married women and people with health issues so yeah so after we collected our bicycle allowance then we left like i left so um after after reporting to camp on the last day with my uniform i was fully kitted six over six six over six is your crested vest your white your um pairs of your pair of trousers your jungle boots your belt and your jackets with your cap yeah your cap so that's six over six so i was um fully kitted i went to camp because if you are not fully i don't know for other camps i'm i'm saying based on lagos camp if you are not fully kitted you won't be allowed in or maybe if you wear your plain white you won't be allowed in you have to wear your crested vest so um after leaving the camp we got our ppa letter yeah i forgot to mention so after after collection of id card you have to collect your ppa your posting letter from your platoon leader so i collected my and on that very that same day i reported to my um to my ppa and i was accepted so after that i went home then the next day i took my acceptance letter to the local government to complete my registration and after the registration i was um after the registration i was giving i was told of the days i'll be reporting for my cds cds means community development service and ppa means primary place place of primary assignments yeah 
so i bought it and i was told my cds days um are thursdays so every thursdays i already told my employer that every thursdays i'm going for my cds so thursdays are the days i'm free like not to report to my ppa so i go for my cds so at the end of the month you have to collect a clearance letter from your ppa like from your employer after collection of that letter you told on the days you have to report for your um clearance as we always do our clearance um beginning of the month so this is just the process of cds cds you go what well, the main things we do in during, during cds the main thing we do during cds is um signing our files and i made a video on that um in my previous video so if you've not seen it go back and watch i'll be leaving the link in the description area for you all to see so yeah that's just it and if there's anything you like you guys would like to know Feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'm going to reply. Thank you so much if you've watched up until now. Thank you so much. So are you a graduate? Are you an undergraduate? Um, are you a Nigerian schooling abroad? Please come back to your country to serve. Like come and serve. Come and experience. This is really a fun field experience. Believe me. So guys, that's all about that. If you've not subscribed, please, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. Turn on your bell. And please give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you all in my next one. For now, bye. Thank you.